It's true. You can have certain opinions. Right. And and not make it. Like agreeing, you know, or voting for Trump. But Right, and I you can but I think there's a lot of people that that believe that you should have your own decision making on your own medical decisions. I my thing is I have a I have an issue with the hypocrisy in society in general. I know you do as well. But abortion's been a hot topic, right? And especially after Roe v. Wade got overturned and sent back to the States or whatever. I don't believe the government should have any control over what we do with our bodies. No. So of course not. as much as I might be lean more pro life, I don't I don't want the government telling me I can't smoke a cigar. I can't have a drink of alcohol. I can't choose my own medical decisions. And if I'm a woman, don't fucking tell me what to do. Like, whether or not I agree with what you decide to do, who cares? And the government should not have a decision that that infringes upon my own personal freedoms. I agree with all that. My thing is, but just don't say to the pro-life people, you're doing it because you hate women, because that's what I hear all the time. You're doing it because you hate women. They don't hate women. They just think it's murder. Mm -hmm. And I get that. I personally don't, because I personally don't think life is always precious. I don't think people who are alive now necessarily are living a life that's precious. If you picture some guy who's on death row and he's committed horrendous crimes, grisly crimes, murdered his family, axe murdering children. <laughs> Let me go on. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. And <laughs> what else has he done? Sex with children. Yeah. Just horrible, horrible things. Skull fucking. Okay. <laughs> so Jeez. now this guy's on death row, right? Yeah. And he's in solitary and he'll never get out. Is that life really precious? I mean, I don't, it, it just doesn't break my heart that we would have the death penalty for somebody like that. I think we're almost doing him a favor. You're just keeping something alive. It's it's almost cruel. Um, so I don't think life is, and if, if the unborn, like, yeah, I get these people, like, it's murder. Yeah, it's undeniably becoming a life. That's why it's such a gray area. It's not a life, but it's undeniably would be. Uh, I just don't care. It's like, if you're not born, I'm sorry, we're not going to miss you. How could we? We never met you. And you're not going to miss us because you didn't meet us. Right. <laughs> you know? So, but I get their thing. I totally do. You know, I'm a PETA person. I just, I just, it's just innate in me. I love animals. I can watch a movie where people are being horribly mistreated. It doesn't make me cry. I can't watch two seconds of, you know, Bambi. Uh, I wouldn't even the watch. The Cove. I wouldn't even watch King. Blackfish. No. no. I won't see it. I won't. Yeah. I wouldn't even watch King Kong. Or uh, Planet of the Apes, because it looks like animals are being hurt. Even the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, I don't want to see hurt. I don't know. It's just innate. And I think it's like that with them with babies. They just have a thing with babies. I fucking hate babies. They're, I mean, I would always, I would always help one if, I, if they were needed, it, uh, unless I had to touch it. But, uh, but, but, but they just have a thing with babies, and they think it's murder. And they're like, just because you have a vagina, you can't commit murder. That's their view. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I feel like this abortion thing has to begin with stop insulting them about that. Just accept this difference. I know people who are I'm very friendly with, and I know we are on the opposite sides on abortion. We just don't talk about it. I'm not going to convince you. You're not going to convince me. And we're not going to have a baby together. So you know, we don't really need to <laughs> We don't need to fucking discuss it, you know? Not better than this. Uh, I appreciate that. Thanks, buddy.